Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Ugh, oh, gods. I've had a quite a weekend. I've basically been playing the hell out of to uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I have so many sets pre-recorded. Like, I'm six sets ahead. I really hope you guys are looking forward to that Let's Play because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, back to this game. <clears throat> now I'm recording this in a proper amount of time, so I'm going to probably go a little bit longer than usual, probably about half an hour to 40 minutes, we'll see. Ah, water. But, um, brain fart, crap. <laughs> Sorry, kind of lost my train of thought. Um, let's just go. I lost my train of thought, let's just go. Oh yeah, I did just record the um, ending that was supposed to come up last week. Time restraints got in the way, so... And Tomb Raider. Hmm. Can it be? Or can it be you, Sir Lynx? You are safe, sir. Where have you been all this time? You've set up a temporary military dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from Commander Norris, not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Please report your current status to him immediately. Hi. Yeah, sorry about taking that, uh, taking forever to get that other, uh, other ending out. It's just, I don't know. I, I just <laughs> lost track of time. <clears throat> but I now have it recorded, and it's going to be uploaded with this set. So everything should be okay with that. Faster. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. Four years to cause this? Jeez. Ah, <sighs> time sure does fly. I was shocked to hear of Dario's death three years ago. And now the generals and the other, the general and the other are missing. The others are missing. The manor is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I've discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved him in some kind of incident. The only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the general three years ago. I just hope that this Nor Norris fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. I do not find it amusing. So basically, uh, Harley, or Nexus in this game, um, was keeping Lynx in check from being as violent as he could have been. That's interesting. There's no way down to where we're going, but apparently it's blocked off. I right, go down through the well. Doop -doop -doop. Don't mind me, just coming through. Run! So yeah, um, I talked with another friend of mine. We both decided that I should continue with the Let's Play until its completion, you know. I said I would do it and I, I should I'd stick to it. And let the uh, next set be the, uh, the next Let's Play that I planned come out after this is over. So, yeah, oop. There we are. So obviously this set's going to, this let's play is going to continue. Hooray! Ah, I need a prison key to get that. Hey. So links, it's been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. There's still no sign of the general or the others. We're still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than I last remember. You are correct, this man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a Dragoon, although I have been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former Fort Davis? It's an honor to meet you, sir. I believe you, sir, but it's still hard to, b to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit, but his spirit is of another. 
That is quite strange, if I may say so. It's up to you uh, what you want to believe. Now, when I first played this game, I had trouble believing that, you know, everyone could just roll with, you know, oh yeah, this, is, this guy has a different soul in his body, you know. But then, now that I'm a little older, I'm like, oh yeah, there's magic in this world. Of course they'd believe it. <laughs> so, what did you have, uh, what business did you have with Sir Lynx? Or Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the General? You'll be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in Alida. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so I was sent to the El Nido Archipelago as a spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it appeared as though the Gen as General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Poor, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. I heard only recently that there is good evidence that the general and his men headed to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It's used, it used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail. We could, not find, an we could find no entrance. It's you, Sir Lynx who wish to change this, this distorted world using the frozen flame. <laughs> la la, such a grand, such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Hold your tongue. Is it? So, the Dead Sea. That ocean, was, that ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we were looking for. Once we uncovered Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There's no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it, either. Yes, I doubt you'll be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marvel know something about this, but they detest humans. Especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they will give us a hint if we were to go. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists. And about everything that happened here, has happened here. What about you? Hmm? Moi? But of course, I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. There's a military boat docked in Termina. Let's use that. I love... I'm sorry, now that I'm going through all these uh, side stories, or the uh, endings, I love the fact that, you know, all of the bad stuff could have just be prevented if, you know, Surge just stayed with Lena on the beach. Literally all it is. Okay. Let us equip... Uh, Norris. As a fun side note... In my first playthrough of the game, I called Norris, uh, Leon, after Leon Kennedy. I also, for some reason, thought, uh, Norris was a woman. I don't know why. Alright, let's do this. Now, we're gonna do something I haven't done yet. I don't think I actually did it in my original playthrough, either. We are going to go and fight an optional boss you can only fight in a New Game Plus mode or in uh, the very end of the game. We do New Game Plus mode, it's available at any point in time as long as you have a boat. Where is... Raise your green, right? I want to go fight them so I can have uh, some interesting stuff for a little bit later on. And that'll probably be it for this set, because this fight takes a bit of time. 
As a side note, you can get them all, as we're, we're going to do, um, in the uh, in Spring's doppelganger list. So make sure you have forget me not pots equipped. If you're playing along, of course. That's pretty much how I play. I thought pretty much how I do all my let's plays. You know, it's under the assumption you're playing along. But now half of you are just interested in my sexy voice. <laughs> I actually got that comment once. I I, I can't hear it. I, I really can't. It was when I was when I was still new at it all too. All right, let's go. We have to go to this island and press X. This is the um, bend of time. Now, um, hold on. This place may look a little familiar from Chrono Trigger. This is e essentially the end of time, but in uh, Chrono Cross. Now, I should be able to access the back room, which is where the uh, hidden boss is. There we go. Hey, big guy. Welcome. We'll try go for it. Three laps should be enough. So we have to run around this thing, um, counterclockwise, I think it is. Nope, wrong way. Clockwise. One. Two. Three. Hey, nice job, nice circling job. Well, battle away. Now, Crow Trigger fans, you know who these three are. Ozzy, Flay, and Slash. It's been a long time since we made an appearance. They look pretty incompetent to me. Yeah, but you gotta give them credit for making it, making it inside this room. We are the three mystical knights. Show us your skills. Okay, so. Ozzy, Flay, and Slash are the three generals of Magus from um, Chrono Trigger. They are very, very powerful and each have their own unique fighting style. Um, Ozzy is very defensive. He um, gives buffs. Fl uh, Flay is very status oriented, so she will confuse and poison people. And Slash is the, the physical offensive. My advice is to always take out Flay first because she is a pain in the butt. Um, well, he. In case you can't tell by the icon. Yes, that's a boy. Um, you can also steal from each of these. Uh, Slash will give you the Slasher, which is a unique sword. Ozzy will give you his pants, which you can put on your head. And Flay, you can steal his bra. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I do believe that there are a uh, there is a small chance that they will drop these as well, but I don't remember. Um, as I said earlier, each of these can also be transferred into the um, doppelganger list. So forget me not pots equipped, or have Sprig in your party and have her do the final blow. Let's try this out. I'm probably going to lose because these guys are strong. Let's go. Oh crap! The stair route to get. I should have put some um, healing stuff. Oh, they're all confused. Except for Norse now. Good job with that, though. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, and Link's no longer confused. Oh, good! My defense is so high, they can't hurt me very well. Alright, no one. Oh, still confused. Alright, I'm gonna stay with Flay for a while. Beautiful. Alright, so we now have Flay in our doppelganger list. Alright, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> this is going by quickly. As a fun side note, um, getting Slash in your doppelganger list is actually very good because he is one of the few, and I mean few, as in he's the only one that has it. Uh, doppelganger creatures that is a part of a triple tra uh, triple tech. Alright, let's do this. Get some good damage off on them. Nice, nice. Do 
Defend. Defend. Go ahead and attack, Nexus. Do your thing, girl. Ah, oh, crap. Max defense, really? Max defense makes them invulnerable to all damage, but puts them asleep as well. As far as I know, the only way to get them to um, get out of this is to just keep attacking until it runs out. You can't defend it, which sucks. Just keep going. Mega Blue! They're also, I think, the only ones, the only creatures that you can get that uh, will ever let you allow, allow you to use the Omega spells. Which are the ultimate of ultimate spells. Iceberg! Got to fix that. Now the field's blue. And I don't like that. That's my thought. Yeah, we're back. Mega White! Jeez! That may hurt a bit. Oh. That hurt at all. Alright, we now have Slash. Jeez. A lot easier than I remember it being. Then again, last time I fought these guys, it was dirt it was right after uh, right before the final boss fight. We now have all three. <laughs> Jeebus. Alright, what do we get out of it? Oh sweet, we got some nice stuff. Uh we got the slasher sword, which is great. Got Ozzy's pants and Dreamer's sash. Okay, I'm okay with this. Those are good drops. I think you can fight them as many times as you want as well. Oh, then if the number of times you circled match the number inside my head, I give you something real nice. I'll only give you three hints. Well, let's make it less than twenty laps. Humba. Okay, I thought about the number. Go for it. Now I'm good. I think he only gives you a um, an item or something. I don't remember. All right, well, let's see what these do. Where is it? Dreamer sash increases by twenty. Oh, I remember what it is now. If you're able to get that, uh, the guess, the guess the number, you get the item called Dreamer Sargon, I believe it's called. It basically allows you to start the the battle with max um, Elma Gauge, so you're able to cast your level eight spells right to get. Ozzy striped underpants, but you can wear them on your head if you prefer. Uh, and the slasher is a sword. Do we have any sword users? I don't think so. Uh, no. But, I do want to test out these, uh, these three. Because I love using them. I'm going to do a, um, demonstration of the three and call it a set. Because I honestly thought that was going to take a lot longer. And, uh, yeah. That didn't really end well. Um... The reason why I'm also doing less sets is because I'm trying to pad it out a little bit. The next game on Thursday, or next game on Tuesday, doesn't really come out for a while, if I'm uh, doing my proper my math correctly. So, yeah, that's kind of how, it, how it's going to go. Um, once the uh, confirmed date gets closer, wrong, wrong spot, I will, uh, of course, release sets um, in longer batches. Alright, let's do... Where is it? Dreamer Sash. 
What level is, uh, your doppelganger? Level 5, so it's need 3 slots. Okay. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and go into this valley, then. That should, uh, help out. Hi, baby dingo! Kinda weird, you can pop out right there. Let's rig. I'm not gonna transform into them very well, am I? For long. Where are you at, guys? Ozzy Flame Slash. I love these guys are transferable, though. I need to find a stronger area of enemies to do this in. Sick em. Oof. Alright. That's not bad. Just gonna poke him for a little bit. Okay, so. Ice Blast, Dodge Slash, Dash Slash, uh, Wind Slash. I guess he doesn't have access to his uh, Omega Spells in this form. That's annoying. Okay, better place I can do this in. Um, I guess I can unequip the uh, Dragoon stuff, keep all the Dreamer stuff in, and go to Fort Dragonia. That should allow me to uh, show off everything. Of course, I also have to go fight the final boss. Could do that. Nah, let's do this. Alright, let's do another quick save. Now that I've confirmed, have all three. Yep. The next bit of the game is uh, a bit long, which is one, one of the reasons why I want to wait for a little bit as well. I want to keep that all in one big part because it's important if you want to get the uh, ultimate weapons. Like, if you mess up one little thing, you're screwed. Alright, I should be able to pull it off with these guys because they're kind of strong and this is a. Uh, Late area game. Late game area. Uh, late? What? It's late part in the game. Normally. Doppelgang. Alright, let's go back to Slash. Swing off his stuff a little more. Alrighty. Defend. 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 I really want to do this uh, New Game Plus mode thing in um, Crow Trigger, but that's, that's such a that's such a time sink. Do I get up to that point? All right, slash. Ah, sturdy, beautiful. And focus. Alright, so what have we got? We have Iceberg, Cure Plus, nice. Iceberg, Dash and Slash, and Wind Slash. Those are also pretty good spells, actually. Alright, let's see uh, what Flay has. Where's my trap? Come on, trap! What's up, dude? Oh, my laundry's done. Yeah, she's red nasal, so she heals from red, so that's not gonna do squat to him. I keep calling him or her. Oh. I guess I'll stick to it because it's easier. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, Inferno, nice. 99 typically makes 100% uh, basic attacks, always with 99%, nice. All of the antis, nice. 
Fire ability strengthen. The stare. It's a secret. Uh, we can fireball. And all the turn spells. Nice. So the stare literally confuses all the enemies and causes them to attack random. Which is actually kind of helpful. If they're vulnerable to it. Obviously it won't work on bosses. Ozzy. Now let's go for the, uh... Tall Green Giant. As of on side note, um, the names Ozzy Flay and Slash are references to um, the three musicians. Um, Flay, I think for like uh, Guns N' Roses, is it? Oh man, this is going to be horrible. I don't, rem I don't remember them all properly. Ozzy, Fl Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Flay, and Slash. You know, you know who these guys are. You should at least. I should. God, it's my... <laughs> my dad ever heard me say this type of crap, he beat the everlong crap out of me. He's a major, major uh, rock fan. But, in the Japanese version, their names were um, mayonnaise, soy sauce, and vinegar. I don't remember which one's which. Okay, temporary uh, nullify physical damage, temporary nullify magical damage. Carnivore heal all. Bush Basher and Infoscope. I've never gotten this to work. It's supposed to tell you their HP. Uh, high res Bushwhacker. You don't even get max defense? Jeez, you are useless. Um, if I were transformed during a boss fight, it's probably going to be Slash because he actually is helpful. But that is the three magical knights from uh, Chrono Trigger. Uh, like I said, I may, in the future, if you want me to, do a Chrono Trigger Plus uh, playthrough where I show all the endings like I'm doing with Chrono Cross. However, you have to ask for this. I will not do it if no one requests it. This was actually requested by, by someone, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, that being said, that's the end of this set. We got the Mystic Knights, which is going to make the game so much easier. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Until then, hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.